Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, distributed generation and islanding condition and certain power quality issues associated in islanding condition. Islanding refers to a condition in which distributed generation is isolated on a portion of the load served by the utility power system. It is usually an undesirable situation although there are situations where controlled islands can improve the system reliability. Islands may be intentional or unintentional. If an island should occur, it should persist for only a very brief period unless the aggregate real and reactive output of all the DG supporting the island is close to the load demand. Otherwise, Island voltage and frequency will change rapidly and all the distributed generators has to be shut down to prevent this. In case the distributed generation in the distribution system is capable to meet the load demand, distributed generators can be operated in the island mode and continue to energize the distribution system. But the major issue with this type of islandings are the voltage and frequency provided to other customers connected to the island are out of the utility's control, yet the utility remains responsible to those customers. Protection system on the island are likely to be uncoordinated due to the drastic change in short circuit current availability. Out of step reclosing. Many utilities use an instantaneous reclosing practice where breakers and circuit recloser re-energize the protected circuit without any intentional delay and this could result in out-of-phase reclosing of the distribution system. As a result of out-of-phase reclosing, large mechanical torques and currents are created which can damage the generator or the prime mover. Transients are created which are potentially damaging to the utility and other customer equipment. Out of phase reclosing, if it is occur at a voltage peak, will generate a very severe capacitive switching transient. In a lightly damped system, the crisp over voltage can approach three times a rated voltage. Now, prevention. Inverter controls are designed to raise a rising frequency or lower a dropping frequency. The power system frequency acts to correct the inverter frequency. Without the power system to correct the frequency, the destabilizing signal in the inverter control quickly causes an over or under frequency condition and frequency relays trip the inverter. Load or generation imbalance relies on the intentional and significant difference between the distributed generator output and the local load. 
distributed generator is operated at constant power factor or constant reactive power and not permitted to regulate the voltage when an island forms the mismatch between the distributed generator and the load will quickly cause detectable voltage and or frequency variations so this is all about uh, islanding condition thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much